All right, you know what? Fine. As penance, I will tell my cursed story. Okay. Your embarrassing story. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. So I'm in this on play. This, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you just... I feel, I'm putting words in your mouth. Though. Don't put words in my mouth! You already won. Shish. <laughs> <laughs> Like all the worst embarrassing stories, this one starts in high school. Freshman year of high school, uh, there's this girl I kind of sort of like a little bit. That's always where it starts. <laughs> and um, her birthday's coming up. Very cute, very pretty. We're in a lot of the same classes. I like Jolene. And yeah, her birthday's coming up and I want to get her something nice. You know, because it's like, it's what you do. And um, I had a bit of a knack of being a bit of a hobbyist. Like I had, um, I'd made stuffed animals in the past and you know, I like made little trinkets and things and you know, I'd bring them in. We would use them for like school projects in the past. So, you know, she was acquainted with this, this habit of mine. And so I was like, I'm gonna make her a little stuffed animal. It'll be cute, it'll be fun. Simple enough idea. Yeah. Very nice. So I made her a little yarn doll, like a bunch of wire with yarn wrapped around it. It was a cute little thing. Yeah, so I, I should probably take a detour to say that how old were you when you discovered masturbation? Ooh, um, seven. Really? Fuck that early? Oh yeah, dude. I was all I was like touching all over my wee wee when I was a young lad. You're a unique case, right? I I was a lot later. Um, I was sixteen. You were wow. That's a lot later than I. Well, I was in middle school. I will say that. I was like touching all over my wee wee ever since I figured out I had. I got an infection because of when I was four. Anyway, that's another story. Aiden, continue. How do you know shame? <laughs> okay, but anyway, at this point in my life, I was 15. I never even thought about it. I didn't know it was a thing you could do. I'd never seen a monkey jack off at a zoo or nothing. I just <laughs> never occurred to me. And this is going to become pivotal to the story. <laughs> Ah, I see. I see where this is. No, you fucking do not. <laughs> so, anyway. my dad works for a shipping company, so there's like a bunch of boxes all over the house, right? Like any room, there's just piles of folded up boxes you can choose from. And, um, you know, like, you sneeze. <laughs> I'm trying to tell a story. I'm trying, to can I'm trying to cancel myself, all right? There's boxes all over the place, boxes of any size. Boxes shaped like dragons, boxes shaped like your mother, you know, anything. But I'm looking around, and there are just no boxes that will fit this stuffed animal. Like, there's none that are... <laughs> you might have figured it out. Yeah, yeah. There are yeah. no boxes that are, like, the perfect size for it. Like, they're too big to fit in my backpack, too small to carry it, right? And so I'm like, what? Can't, why? This is so fucking weird. Like, there should be boxes that, that fit it somewhere in this house. And then I cracked the code. This thing is the perfect size to fit inside a tissue box. Uh, so I saw this tissue box and I was like, perfect. So I put the plushie in the tissue box, wrapped that sucker up, brought it to school, <laughs> okay. handed it to her, said I made this with you in mind. <laughs> And then I had a test to make up, so I walked off and she opened it in front of everybody I know. I know, Kitty, I know! Like I said, didn't know a damn thing about jacking off. So did you just, did you wrap it up in tissue paper? No, just in a tissue box. Okay. But a couple of months later, when I finally discovered this, I finish, grab a Kleenex, and have the worst post-nut clarity of my life when it finally clicked what I did. We didn't go out ever. <laughs> what what was the stuffed animal? Or just that it's just a little yarn doll. What animal? A little yarn person. <laughs> What's an animal? <laughs> so I made this with you in mind. <laughs> I made it with love. <laughs> Made it with a lot of love. So too much love. I never saw the fallout. Nobody ever brought it up. <laughs> but I know she was opening presents in front of people. So for all I know, that had sweeping effects on my ability to connect with people over the course of several years. I mean, who knows? It might have been okay. Like they might have not like thought of it like that. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Are you sure? That's the thing, though. That's why this story still bothers me, because I never got that closure of, like, is it as bad as I think it was? Mm. Is this paranoia just? Is this... Did this actually happen? Did I seriously just... It's not about the money, it's about sending a message. <laughs> like, did I just... Did I do that? What did I do? So, that... 
That is going to haunt me until I die. <laughs> oh, God. I think if if I were to receive something like that, I wouldn't think that's where my mind would go, but I'm not going to pretend like I know what high schoolers are thinking. <laughs> I would probably be a bit skeptical that you put it inside of a Kleenex box, but, like, I wouldn't be like, ooh, it's a Kleenex box. He used it to wipe his pre <laughs> What I was thinking was you wrap it up in tissues, and it's just like... A, you just oh, hold it in there like... A cum dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> you glue the tissues together. <laughs> <laughs> they just hold it and they're like, why does it feel like this? <laughs> it's like brittle, it like cracks. <laughs> Dude, but like, in all honesty, like, I think you're overthinking it. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I know you're not going to get a resolution from it, but... But it was in front of everybody I know. And I, I, I should... I should clear. I'm like the gayest straight guy there is. <laughs> All right. Like I, no matter I, I, nothing I say will ever convince my mom I don't want dick. <laughs> nothing ever. <laughs> For some reason, everybody except the people in that friend group thought I was gay. All of them more than clear that I was into girls, and I never made a point out of this. There were like. Fuck at least 15 people who witnessed this. Surely one of them's tugged on their dick before, <laughs> like... Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, it, intentions were pure. The execution was questionable. <laughs> And I think it was a tissue box that I dug out of the trash, too, so it was all beat up and oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> Handled with care, Aiden. Ugh. If you were so into, like, crafts, why didn't you just cut up a box and make one? Yeah. You see, because fuck everything, man. It's like, <laughs> what do you, man? What do you want? <laughs> I, I can't take it back. <laughs> just, because fuck you, man. Honestly, I thought this story would like kind of spiral into Aiden finding like a dildo box and putting it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dragon spear and he's like, oh, wow, well, this is probably okay. <laughs> well, very specific brand you just picked out there. You know, it was totally made up. You can tell that I don't buy dildo for myself. So you know what's the perfect size for holding a little trinket that's under a foot tall? A flashlight. <laughs> he said a stuffed animal. I thought it would be like an actual stuffed animal. Like you ever Jesus. seen the main character from Unravel? Yes. It was that. Got it. Okay. Yeah, one of those. Has a little heart shaped head. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah. I thought it was really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what turns out it was. Did you like it? savory? Did you ever talk to her again? Oh yeah. Cool. Oh. I just hope everybody forgot. Cause <laughs> was this the girl that pushed you off the cliff? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That really like it. That, Do I have to tell that story now? <laughs> nah. That really brings things around. We are like you can reaching now. You can leave that out yeah. of context. <laughs> I can tell it real quick. Okay, as a kid, I had the same three recurring dreams every night. Always the same three dreams, and uh, they were all very morbid, like Survivor-esque game shows where all my friends were contestants and we'd all get shot and die. And they all played out the same way every time, and um, the only time that ever changed was um, when this girl I'd never met before stabbed me in the chest and kicked me off of a <laughs> uh, cliff into a ravine. And I was just sat staring into a black void for two hours in, like, real time, like I stopped dreaming. A couple of weeks later, I meet a girl who looks just like that in my math class and she's very cute and I think that that's not a red flag and <laughs> then I gave her a cum toy. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her a cum toy. End of story. Let's not talk about this. I don't know. She's a sweetheart. I shouldn't. But, like... <laughs>